It's great to be back, and, and I appreciate uh, the, the warm welcome. I mean, you, as you saw when I went and disrupted the, the classrooms, um, th there is nothing friendlier than, than first and second grade students, and, and they were really welcoming to me, the teachers, uh, everybody. But this is a place where people are learning, and it's really the kind of thing that we, we ought to invest in. And instead of investing in this, what we've done here, at, I mean, all over the state, but, but here I think uh, since 2010, 2011, we have uh, defunded $3.5 million from this school district, the Coatesville Area School District. Uh, and my point today is that, that we can't do that. That, that isn't, um, that's not good economics. Uh, it's not smart. I mean, forget about whether you think it's right or wrong. It's not smart from an economic point of view. We cannot continue to disinvest in our education system. This is our future for all of us, all of us standing here. Everybody in Pennsylvania, we have to invest in this. And so we've got to make sure that we're doing what we can for, for our children. If we're going to get our Commonwealth back on track, we're going to have to figure out how to fund education adequately. I understand it's not sufficient. There are more things that go into a good education system than money, but it's necessary. You cannot continue to disinvest in education and hope to get to a, a good place. Pennsylvania, just as an example, ranks 45th, 45th in the country in terms of state support for education. That doesn't make any sense. Pennsylvania should be first in just about everything. And if it should be first in one thing, if it's going to pick just one thing to be first in, it should be education. Uh, now, it just so happens that we have a great opportunity here in terms of matching this need for funding uh, and something we have here in Pennsylvania. We sit on top of one of the richest deposits of natural gas in the world. We have, we have the natural resources to actually do something about the problem here. And so, you know, a severance tax uh, of that on that, that resource would be something that's really appropriate. How radical would that be? Well, Texas does it. Oklahoma does it. North Dakota does it. Alaska, Louisiana. They do it. West Virginia does it. Uh, and so today I'm proposing that we do it. In the Educational, uh, Educational Reinvestment Act, I'm proposing with that act that we actually provide additional funding for education from a source of funding that every other state in the union with natural resources uses, a severance tax. We're the only state with natural resources without a severance tax. With that, we could actually do something to close the gap in terms of funding public education, something that would help all of us, not just these kids here, not just these teachers, but all the children in, in this school, but, but all the citizens of Pennsylvania would help our, our, our economy. The tax proposed, uh, I'm proposing here in the Education Reinvestment Act, uh, is modeled after the severance tax that's levied in West Virginia. Again, I'm not proposing anything really different here. Uh, throughout the campaign, I proposed a 5% severance tax. This tax is based on West Virginia's tax, which, which is a 5% severance tax with a 4.7 cents per thousand cubic feet adder uh, uh, on volume. Uh, together, that would raise about a billion dollars uh, in the first full year. And the first full year would be, in my budget proposal, the 2017 fiscal year, uh, because we would start this January 1st, 2016. Uh, so the first budget year, 1516, would only be a partial budget, but the first full year, that's a billion dollars, a billion new dollars coming into our schools, our education system. That's K through 12, that's early childhood education, that's higher education. It's a start. And again, it's not like this is uh, out of the blue. We're the only state in the union with natural gas, with natural resources, without a severance tax. And this is modeled on our next door neighbor, West Virginia. Uh, Republican Governor, conservative Republican Governor John Kasich in, in Ohio uh, is proposing a 6.5% severance tax in Ohio. Uh, he just did that last week. That's working. It's going to work its way through the legislature. So I'm not doing anything here. I'm not proposing anything here that is radically different from anything else. In fact, it's the same as what's going on uh, around us, and it puts us uh, in a place where we can actually do some funding for our education system. That's the kind of thing that, that I think uh, we, we ought to do. Uh, this tax, the way I'm proposing it, would also uh, have protection for property owners who are leasing uh, their land for natural gas extraction so that the gas drillers will not be able to pass uh, this uh, severance tax through to them. I think that's a protection uh, that they deserve as citizens of Pennsylvania. The point is this is about education. 
This is about what we need to do as Pennsylvanians to serve this educational need that we all have. I mean, again, we can focus on the children who are in this school, we can focus on the educators, but this is really about all of us. And we need to make sure that we are doing a good job in investing in our future by investing in education. Uh, I know our budget is facing all kinds of challenges, uh, and I'm going to deal with those challenges in, in my budget address. But I wanted to start off by saying we need to focus on education. We need to make sure that we are investing smartly uh, and adequately in, in something that means so much to our future. So we've struggled to supply even the basics. When I arrived here in June, we didn't have enough textbooks for all students. That's great. Well, thank you. Thank you so much.